Hey, what's up guys? This is Oakley, and Indie Pride is here, and we are going to be doing the battle for Rivendell here. So, <laughs> I'm panning over my massive army that does not stop, uh, and we're now just going to be crossing the first of many bridges, and you can see Rivendell there in the background. So, as I said, my opponent is going to be Indie Pride, playing as the elves, defending his home. Yeah, I'm going to be defending the beautiful city of Rivendell here. This is... Seriously, the best mod, Medieval 2. It is absolutely glorious. The amount of effort and detail they put into these custom settlements on Third Age is really unparalleled. I play Call of Warhammer. You guys know that, or if you're sub to my channel, you know that I've been doing a bunch of replay commentaries on that. And I love Call of Warhammer, and the, the units on that are fantastic. But Third Age really does have of put into it that I, I don't think any other mod can rival and uh, Rivendell is is no exception to that so we're going to be seeing a massive an army from the Misty Mountains moving up here trying to take the city and I will be playing the high elves and doing my absolute best to keep these trolls and orcs and goblins and other assorted ugly things out of the settlement yep and this is uh I have the numbers in my advantage um and I'm going to be doing it not human wave attacks, but goblin wave attacks where I have my kind of more meat shieldy troops moving forward. It's going to be a bunch of these snag archers and light goblin units. I'm going to be holding back my tankier archers, especially two of these trolls, uh, cave trolls. And in each unit there is, I believe, nine of them. So yeah, 18 trolls in total. That <laughs> They are heavy hitting for sure. So a lot of my force is now slowly proceeding the, the march forward. And it seems like it just ranks upon rank that does not end. Uh, so we're bringing the fight <laughs> to the elves for sure. Up here come my run front ranks. I'm going to try and move forward. I'm clearing a path for my catapult to perhaps start shelling the city from a distance. And I know you're going to start shuffling some defenders into place here. Yeah, so there is one thing I have to mention before we get too far into this replay. Camera work around the settlement is going to be really hard because the camera will just drop out whenever you go over the edge. So I'll do my best to not do horribly with the camera work, but both of us will probably struggle with that a little bit when we're around the city, but that's all right. I'm going to go over my army setup now. I do have two or three of these Eldar Spearmen, very tanky elite Spearmen. I also have swords, high charge bonus, great melee attack values, and a bunch of archers. The Nora Tierno, again, the pronunciation on some of this stuff is going to be really hard and probably wrong. I do know some of the lore for Lord of the Rings, but I'm by no means any expert, so my uh, my pronunciations will probably be bad. Just please please forgive that. It'll be Elder, Eldar, and Nori Tirno is how I'm going to pronounce this stuff. And then I have the Mithlan Nobles as some of my elite sword units. A bunch of these Nori Tirno war warriors are going to be my archer units, and I have a Catapult and the Smiths of Origion are going to be my general units. So they are a very tanky hammer and shield unit that's going to be uh, engaging later on in the battle. But first thing I want to do here is get my Mithlon nobles into melee with these goblin infantry. And when we went into this battle, we kind of agreed that we didn't want to send all our forces just into each other right away because it would kind of get grindy, right? That's what we were talking about. Yeah. So you can see all my archers here could be firing into a blob. Likewise, you could be doing the same, but we decide to attack in waves. It's uh, a bit more fun, and uh, <laughs> unluckily... I just uh, friendly fired the crap out of my own guys. That was not a good start. I feel I felt so bad for those Mithlon nobles. It's like, put them in a melee and then just shoot them in the back. That's one of, gonna, gonna be one of the only times I friendly fire myself this game, but uh, it, it was not a good way to start this battle, I'll say that. Yeah, and that catapult, I mean, your your guys are deadly archers, but not so much uh, at the catapult crew. It's a crude art, I guess, for them. Um, but this is going to be a battle determined largely by archers in the first place. You can see here with my snag archers, I'm just pouring everything into your ranks. I'm trying to break your initial forces because I see you swarming in with more nobles. And if you get enough surface area against my guys, that's going to be um, kind of devastating to my unit. So I want to pen you up, so I'm going to be charging in with some of my wargs as well. Try and keep your guys back and then force the river crossing here. I want to keep your um, kind of bows from deploying out in this position where you can get a lot of shots on me. I want to retain the high ground. Um, so you can see I'm pouring everything into here. My catapults are in position. And over a little bit higher in the ridge, I'm bringing in some more goblet infantry. Already anticipating that the first ranks are going to be completely culled by your heavy nobles. And so I'm preparing for waves 2, 3, and you know perhaps even 4 and 5. Yeah, so I've got most of my elite melee troops in here. They're just going to be grinding down the much inferior troops, and I will be able to cut through hordes and hordes of them. 
but it is a numbers game. You massively outnumber me, and right now it's seven percent of my army has died, and eleven percent of yours has. So that that kind of trade doesn't work well for me. I have to kill about two of two goblins for every elf that I that dies. So cutting through them is going to be difficult. It is going to happen over time, but with all these these cheap goblin archers shooting in and soaking up some fire, I do have to break these goblin units very quickly before these snaga archers and some of the crappier archer units can do damage because even though they are a crappy archer unit they will pick me apart over time and I, I just need to break through these waves of goblin infantry each time move up push back the archers and then continue advancing hopefully all the way to the bridge that's now behind your catapult over here and keep pushing you back and back further away from the settlement yeah and this is a uh... Something I, I, I was debating on, like, what's the best army composition? I knew you would have a lot of archers, um, and I figured, you know, what's the best way to counter this? Well, I need a lot of bodies to soak it up, and I figured, you know, I don't want all infantry, because, yes, they're going to soak up, soak up arrows, but what, while they're soaking up arrows, they're probably not going to be in combat most of the time, so I wanted at least, you know, my um, arrow catchers, my meat shields, to at least be able to return fire. So that's why I decided to bring a lot of these light archers, and I think it's paying for itself right now. I'm actually going to end up getting a lot of kills, like you said, with just pouring in the fire. Um, yes, you're doing a lot of damage to me, but it's all about, you know, percentage here. Um, I've lost 22%, but you've lost 13, so still, like you said, you have to trade 2 to 1, and you're not quite there yet, so I'm doing pretty well. But it looks like you carved through actually my front ranks, so this is the position you wanted to get in where you could charge through to my archers. Yeah, this is, this is the first wave from Oakley broken now. Again, it was just chaff and meat shields, basically, that I killed. Did kill the wargs, which is, of course important but on a map like Rivendell they're not going to be a great force they're much more effective like cavalry on an open plane so now my Mithlon nobles have moved up they've certainly taken a lot of casualties this one is down to about half strength but of course once they get into snagas these guys have absolutely no hope in melee the Eldar are just way too strong way too high armor values and attack values for the snagas to deal with so they're going to get cut through pretty easily, but now you have more goblin infantry pouring in, and like you said, you want to be using wave tactics this game. Wear me down with the cheap troops, and then later on in the battle, that's when the trolls and the heavy goblin infantry can start cutting through my guys once I've already taken a bunch of HP damage and lost a bunch of men. The heavy goblin infantry and the cave trolls are going to be an absolute nightmare to deal with once my units are down to about half strength. It's going to be really hard to cut through. Yeah, and I keep keep I'm trying to keep an eye on the uh, artillery uh, counter batteries that we're firing at each other. I have yours targeted. I think you have my clusters targeted. So I'm just trying to get the advantage there, suppress you, and then I can bomb you indiscriminately. And I know here my shots are getting closer and closer. So it's only a matter of time uh, before I hit some valuable targets over there. Yeah, it's a really difficult angle for my artillery. You're in probably a better position, although there's honestly not a lot for you to shoot over here. There are my Eldar archers that are moving up right now that would probably be a good target, but for my catapults, you have to shoot kind of up over the cliff, and I think you're about to yep, take out one of my catapults right there. I'm glad I caught that. So I'm now down to one artillery piece. With the angle that I have right now, it's not a very good angle. It's really hard to hit stuff. So pretty soon here, I'm just going to realize there's no point in wasting shots right now wait until the goblins push up closer if i'm able to push them all the way back to the bridge that's fine um that just means i'm winning the fight if i'm not able to then i can just save on save some of my ammunition and wait until your army pushes up to the actual settlement yeah and i still uh you're kind of dealing with my second wave which is again snaga archers and goblin infantry which is total crap um i don't really care too much about these guys you are however bringing in your second wave and some of your archers here have pulled up behind and so now I have to deal with uh, those guys with my own heavy goblin infantry. Uh, these guys were preparing for a second wave, but uh, I didn't want to just, like I said, sit here and just take shots without, you know, returning any damage. So I'm going to pull them out of the fight and instead let my own um, remaining goblin archers deal with your archers. Um, it's going to take a lot of time for me to try and exchange with your units. Um, you have a lot of bonuses being in the woods and with your armor, which is pretty incredible. So it's going to be hard for me to pick your guys apart. Um, but I'm going to at least try and whittle those numbers. Yeah. It's it's not ideal for me where my archers are right now because ideally, archer unit in Medieval 2 wants to have, have line of sight. As soon as you start shooting up into the air, the effectiveness and accuracy of arrows goes way down. So it would be a lot better if I could maybe move my archers into a flanking position and shoot directly into your units. It would cause way more damage, but they are still elf archers. They still have a ridiculous amount of ammunition. Many, many shots. And... 
they can shoot very quickly as well. So I will still do a bunch of damage to these heavy goblin archers that are moving up now once we start skirmishing. And they're in a decent position. I mean, again, they don't have line of sight, but they are in the woods. They are getting that cover bonus, and that is going to be very important. Yeah, and I was uh, still continuing to shell your artillery piece. I get super close to hitting it, but you're going to start, I think, scooting it <laughs> to try and avoid some of that fire coming in. Um, and I was really hoping you're going to try and target your own men or some of my guys and have a wild shot hit your own groups. I know that's happened a couple times this fight. I, I learned that lesson. I think I only did it <laughs> once, and after that I was like, no, I'm not shooting at the infantry blob anymore. It's not that accurate. It's way too far away to, start to keep doing that. Yeah, and we can take a look at some of your archers that have been taking some of the fire from my combined, you know, two goblin archer units. And still, your guys started at 86, and they've only lost three men total. Um, so that just goes to show the staying power of your units. Um, and I go and take a look at my guys, and they're just dropping heavily with every volley. So what I started to try and do is like, okay, you know, I can keep shooting at your archers, but it's not really going to do anything. Um, what I want to do instead is start targeting some of your infantry, because I know if I can break that, then actually it doesn't matter if your archers are still at full strength. Then I can charge through and clean them up. So we're all, um, you know, you tried to do the same strategy with my archers, so now I'm going to try and return the favor. Uh, so in order to do that, I'm going to deploy my, uh, I believe, third wave here, which is going to be something like goblin heavy infantry. And you've basically cleaned out every single one of my light goblins. So here come the heavy goblins. And now, yeah, you can see my archer fire starting to... Ooh, focus in on your guys, and I did lose a catapult right there. Yeah, I just hit it, so I finally got revenge with my catapult there, which is really nice, and so now it's going to be a duel between the two catapult units. I still have a decent amount of ammunition on that catapult unit. I, I thought I would have stopped firing already. I know at some point in this battle I do stop shooting so I can save some ammunition, but as you said, the heavy goblins have moved up now, and this is where the infantry slog is going to get much more difficult, because Mythlon nobles have been cutting through stuff like butter, the Eldar, Swordsmen, and Spearmen have been doing fantastic in melee, but they are starting to get very tired, and soon they'll be exhausted, and they're fighting higher tier infantry with some decent armor values and shield values as well. So, to counter that, I've now put some of my Eldar Spearmen into a flanking position, and you can see them now on the flank, the right flank of these heavy goblins, and with these really quick attack animations, it's going to start cutting into them from the side, and of course my archers are still doing a bunch in, or, or a bunch in uh, skirmishing. What an important note about the High Elves and the Sylvan Elves in this mod is that the, the the archers for these factions, the Elf factions, are still really good in melee. So even if I lose all of my infantry soldiers, I'm still going to have a hope in melee combat with my archers. They're going to be able to do some damage there. So once I've run out of ammunition, which I'm not anywhere close to with any of my archer units, once they do run out of ammunition, they will be able to kill stuff in melee as well. Yeah, my... My archer units here, my goblin archers, despite their armory, armor, are still getting picked apart at the seams. Um, and you can see a lot of my arrows are actually going to start landing in and amongst our <laughs> infantry blog here. Uh, so I may be hastening the demise of my own guys, but I figure um, take some of your guys out with me. Um, and I do see a couple of your units falling here and there to the arrows. I'm not sure if it's helping you or hurting you more than anything else, but uh, you know we're indiscriminate goblins, so I don't mind it too much. And I'm softening you up for what I'm gonna start rolling in here uh, soon and that's gonna be my trolls you can see them starting to inch up they're itching um, for a fight here and they're waiting for the perfect moment to strike so they're kinda starting to inch forward and I'm um, just waiting for the opportune moment you can see more of my infantry as well a lot of heavy goblins in the rear um, these guys are all fresh they have a generals unit with them as well and these trolls not to be underestimated these guys have a lot of health um, and they pack a huge punch. So against your guys, they're going to be excellent for breaking, kind of finally putting the finishing touches on your infantry that have been committed for the entirety of this fight so far. Yeah, once your, once your cave trolls get committed, it's going to get really, really scary for me. Again, everything you've thrown at me so far, I've been able to deal with. But with all these very depleted infantry units down to half strength or a quarter strength, some of them even less than that, it's going to be a problem. You, your, your last heavy goblin infantry over here have broken now, pushing through. And if you're the high elves at this point, you, you've got to be so happy with what's going on. Like, we've killed a bunch of their guys, everything's going okay, and then all of a sudden you look across the bridge 
and you see 12 trolls running towards you, and that's just got to be the most horrifying <laughs> sight in the world. Yeah. Seeing, <laughs> seeing these monsters of pure muscle and bone with these huge sledgehammers run towards you, it's got to be a horrifying sight. Yeah, right I'm there. looking at it from this pr perspective of your infantry, and you can't quite see it around the bend, so at this point you'd imagine all of the elf captains, Elrond, are cheering. Hey, we have it. We just got to push them back. All of that's We're left is the archers. <laughs> yeah, you can see them even cheering. But at this point, actually, now that you got rid of my infantry, I have a clear line of sight into your guys, so I'm further going to soften them up with some volleys. <laughs> now, look at all of these uh, trolls. I'm going to send one unit back, because I decided I didn't need all of them kind of taking fire from your archers. So I'm just going to commit with one. figured that would be enough. They're starting to get a bit eager running over my men, but it does not matter. Uh, they're going to have a punishing charge straight to your guys. Yeah, I tried to get into spear wall there, and I think they actually did get into spear wall, but... This is not combat they can win, this is just do as much damage as you possibly can to the trolls. Sacrifice your life, hold them down so that the archers can do the damage, because they're going to cut through eventually. Like, I'm not going to be able to kill these trolls. They have... Do you have any idea how much HP they have? Is it 3 HP? It has uh, to be more than 3. I, I have no idea, actually. I haven't looked okay. at the stats it, It's of a lot guys, of HP, but yeah, it's, it's going to be really hard to cut through. I've seen these guys take so much volleys, even with the, uh, you know, the elf damage that they can do. I've seen them tank so many um, hits before that I, I, I didn't expect them to go down without a fight. Uh, I was a little scared once you started seeing the models get bloodied, but that means they're just getting started. They're just getting warmed up here. I don't think I've lost a single one just yet. I'm trying to get... Um, what's the count on my guys? I can't quite... Oh, we're at eight. So we lost one, actually. Um, so maybe I'm getting a little worried here, which is why I'm bringing heavy infantry. I really need to break this little cluster of units so I can push on through. Your archer is just standing there, just firing at they me point blank. They are obliterating <laughs> your goblins. Like, you, you're, you're talking about how you had line of sight with your archers and how that was important. It's doubly important for me, because when I'm getting clear line of sight, shooting arrow straight into enemy units, you can see all the blood pumps. They are getting destroyed here. So. I mean, look at all the dead bodies. Like, he has lost hundreds and hundreds of goblins in about a minute. So, my archers definitely paying for themselves right now. But Bulls now. are still the problem. They're but charging now. right through. <laughs> yeah. my, I, my line is broken. My, my swordsmen have broken. I only have archers up here. So, I'm going to have to fight some of my cheaper archer units so that my Eldar archers can actually run away. It's going to be a problem to get them out of this combat because it's going to be a, a serious issue. So, yeah, like... Uh... You were saying your archers can double as swordsmen, um, but it's definitely not optimal. I mean, you were having a hard time with my trolls already with the lead infantry, and this is just going to be mm -hmm. a, a cake walk for my guys here. Um, and so now I'm going to push through there or there to break your guys, start to cause them to waver, and then I'm going to clean it up with my goblin infantry who are at this point not being suppressed by any arrows, but man, look at the ground they're treading over. <laughs> it's like carpet. So many dead bodies, dude. It is a complete massacre, a complete bloodbath. So you've actually lost some more cave trolls. Now you're down to six in this one unit. And I'm going to realize that the only hope we have now is to retreat all the way across to Rivendell itself and uh, make a... Oh, the camera work there. That's so hard. To, <laughs> uh, is make a last stand here across the bridge. So this will be good for me because my, my num I'm outnumbered here, but my troops are more elite than yours, which means in 1v1 fight, I will be able to hold back the tide and you won't be able to surround me with your superior numbers. But um, it's gonna also going to be difficult for me because I'm not going to really have line of sight to shoot with my archers. I'm going to have to shoot over the hill and this building right here with a lot of my guys. And pathfinding was one thing that I was really struggling with in this battle. There are only a certain amount of spots on this part of the map that you can actually deploy your guys. So every time I was trying to move a guy, I was seeing red X, red X, red X, not being able to move stuff. And that started getting a little bit frustrating. So placing my guys in a spot where they actually have line of sight and you can shoot directly in your guys is difficult. And at this point, your trolls have now crossed the bridge. Yep. And they're going to start cutting <laughs> into my skirmishers. We've set foot into Rivendell now, so it's official. You weren't able to just beat back the first four waves. The fifth wave actually came in and crashed through. And now I'm nice and stuck into your archers here. You're going to try and put some of your Smiths of Eregion, which I believe are some of the top tier infantry you can get. Um, and you land a nice strike with the catapult on some of my really important infantry right here. So they're crispy. Crunchy. Uh, but I'm going to pour everything yeah. into this fight. Like you said, you can't really get the nice archer shots. The best shots you have is when I actually stay out in the open across the bridge. So I'm going to try and start committing everything into this uh, this fight here. Um, and we're slowly getting our way up through. I've made it to your catapults almost. Uh, but these smiths are, are going to be pretty dangerous. 
And they are extremely good units. So they're not, they don't have very high attack values. They only have seven attack, but they have very high armor as you would expect. I believe they have the highest armor value in the game, or at least they should. They're smiths. I mean, they, they're known for making the best armor in all of Middle Earth. And then they have 23 defense value. So interesting thing about this between Third Age and Call of Warhammer is Call of Warhammer adds a bunch of like 2 HP or 3 HP or 6 HP units. In Third Age, there are very few units that actually have multiple hit points. So Smiths of Erosion actually do not have multiple hit points. They are still very tanky though, and they're going to be able to stem the tide of these goblin infantry for a while at least. Yeah, and it's a good thing you pulled back these archers because they're continuing to fire at my position on the hill there, uh, trying to suppress my guys. I do still have some goblin archers that survived early on, so I'm going to try and help uh, take out your smiths. I'm trying to pour everything against them, but it looks like, looks like you were actually able to clean up the rest of my trolls. I didn't quite catch them going down, but all of a sudden they just kind of crashed all at the same time. Um, um, so that's why I kept another one, and there, oh, there, goes, the, or, <laughs> there goes the elf horn on, on my side of things. Um, but like I was saying, good thing I, I kept this other one nice and fresh out of combat. Uh, so I lost my first one, but it did win me a victory. And I just barely missed a catapult shot. So I know this is, uh, you know, I can't stand here forever. So I'm going to start to shift them around. Um, try and ready myself for perhaps the last and final assault on your position. Uh, over by the bridgehead, I do have some goblin archers. They were out of ammo. Uh, so I put them on loose formation up here. And it looks like you kind of took the bait and you are firing on them. Um, instead of firing on some of my better troops, so I was happy to take this. I'm gonna lose them. I think I was going quickly. for your general. Don't you have a don't you have a goblin general out there? Uh, my goblin general oh, sitting the, sitting in the way back. Yeah, that's that's who I was shooting at. Oh. Um. So yeah, I was trying to get those goblins. Oh shit! Oh, here we go. Is that hit? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Okay, so I didn't actually kill that many, but it's in shot. <laughs> Can you imagine how scary that would be? <laughs> A flaming ball of death just flying towards you. I mean, that's where as you, you jump. guys know. Me and Oakley both like our <laughs> flaming balls, but that would be horrifying. That's to where my commander life. jumps to the side, dodges it, and spits on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Goth <laughs> Mog. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, uh, what, again, one of the, we're talking about the elf horn. Oakley was mentioning the elf horn. That's my rally cry. Basically, whenever I want to rally my troops, that's the horn that blows. That's the kind of immersion and the kind of touch. That this mod brings to you that is really kind of unlike any other mod you're actually able to hear sounds and music and like battle cries from the movie which i think is just amazing it really it really immerses you in the universe when we were playing this we were just freaking out because it was this is so epic like, this is actually such an epic battle yeah so it looks like you've beat by next wave but again after every wave there has to be a, an even bigger wave which is going to be the cave trolls coming in fresh your catapults are suppressing my guys I'm done waiting, and now I'm going to try and commit almost everything. My archers are going to continue to pour in some flanking shots on units. Oh, and here comes my trolls. They are they oh, love big scary. clusters of units like this. Elf captain in the center here, trying to be manly. I mean, he's being super manly right now, but he's not going to be able to withstand two trolls smacking him with a sledgehammer. So this is where my smiths are going to have to pay for themselves here. This is where they're going to have to hold down this entire flank and just protect my army and give my archers time, give my catapults time. The longer they can hold, the more damage they can do against the cave trolls, the better chance I have of winning this battle. We're now at almost even on the balance bar. I've lost 70% of my army, Oakley's lost 87%, but it's a little misleading because trolls don't count a lot on the balance bar because they're very low number, but they also are extremely powerful. So. This could still go either way. My smiths are just going to have to do as much damage as they possibly can before you cut through. And I don't expect to win this combat. They are losing decisively right now. They just have to do as much damage as they can. Yeah, just keep popping that elf horn um, to try and keep your guys together. And yeah, here go my... We're <laughs> pushing through your guys. Like you said, only a military genius can win. I've now got them all spread out so their cohesion is broken. Can isolate them, just smack them around. The heavy infantry is there to kind of wade between the legs of the uh, trolls and just start cleaning up your guys um, and I see your captain there he's still bloodied Ooh, and there you go at least on my screen I, I ended up killing him dead. yep so that's gonna be pretty big I'm sure the the elves are overall pretty good in terms of morale and cohesion um, but still it was a pretty big morale blow um, against your guys and once I can get through those units I mean all you have up here is gonna be these archers which we saw last time I was able to charge through with my trolls um, just absolutely bowled your guys over and there you go your front rank units have been destroyed so now I'm gonna be able I to have push through no melee units left it's all archers it is all up to the Eldar and Noriturno warriors that is all I have left so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pull back my 
less good melee troops, or my less good skirmish troops. These guys are just simply not as good in melee as the Eldar, so my gold-plated, gold-armored Eldar are going to hold this hill here, shoot point-blank into the trolls, get some really nice shots off, and I believe they're going to get a couple kills here as well. But they're going to just try to do as much damage as they can while the catapult crew ties down your trolls. And I know you're like, screw this, pull through, pull through. You want them to pull through really bad, get a really good shot and kill one of them. So, or maybe I could kill a couple there, but you're down to six in your trolls. So it's going to be 70 Eldar archers against six trolls. And we're going to see if they can hold the line here. <laughs> yeah, and my heavy infantry is coming in as well. Um... Some of my archers even coming into the fight. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pull everything. This is gonna be the last wave. I haven't been keeping track of how many waves I've thrown at you, um, but it is definitely washing further and further. Now is gonna be, uh, I guess, the high tide of my assault. Yeah, Eldar in there in melee with the cave trolls, just trying to hold them back. Again, don't expect them to win this. Just do as much damage as you possibly can. Goblins do have crappy morale, and if I can manage to kill the gen. That is probably going to cause a chain route here. The, the problem, of course, is that your cave trolls are in the front line, so I can't actually get at your gen at the moment. Yep. So, <laughs> I mean, these, these Eldar archers have, I believe, 12 attack, 15 defense. So they are quite tanky, very high armor value as well. Good melee attack, good melee defense. But there are just so few things in this game that can one-on-one -on -one beat a troll unit. So it is, it is a matter of time before you break through that. And then I'm going to have almost nothing left to repel your assault. Yeah, you just have two archers in the background kind of standing here on the last bridge at the last keep, firing into my guys. And you can see just a little bit over the bushes, <laughs> flailing arms and hammers going wild <laughs> in the remainder of your guys. And now it looks like you're down to how many units are left? Yeah, only a military genius could win this fight. You're down to about 38 men. You should be breaking soon. My infantry, I'm trying to pull them through just to have kind of overwhelming... Uh, numbers against you and perhaps try and get some debuffs but some of my trolls there I saw another one go down um, so actually the problem with this is once I push past this little lip here and I even clear out some of your infantry it means you're gonna have a clear line of sight on my guys um, so I really want to break this but at the same time it, it could cost me actually once I push forward yeah your, your goblin infantry are now in the crosshairs but but they're actually not what I'm worried about right now I have to kill these trolls so I'm okay with getting a little bit of friendly fire here if I can kill them, there are now, let me see, I think there are four, yeah, there are four trolls left. Victory is certain, only a fool could lose this battle for them. But my catapult crew is also, the <laughs> one guy just holding down to the Holding the bridge. Here, once he, yeah, once he dies, which he will soon, he's oh, very he's brave right now with almost no armor. Holding there you go. Back. But once he dies, your guys um, you're going to be able to push across. And your archers are down to four. Now I'm going to charge right on through. So here we go, the last bridge. Now I'm charging with all my waves. Um, but like Ine said, oh, once, God, the, the <laughs> once the elves get point-blank shots, it can be pretty devastating. Yeah, I'm going to get one last point-blank volley into your goblin archers, or you got your heavy goblins, before you get in. And this is your, your general and one goblin unit. So your, your general is actually down relatively significantly. He's down to 41 men. Your heavy goblin infantry is also kind of beat up at the moment there are two units of elf warriors standing between you and winning this entire siege and taking the settlement of Rundel, which has never fallen 3,000 or 4,000 years Ooh. I cannot let this happen I here come the trolls one goes down goblins and trolls take over. <laughs> one goes down another one coming in it's gonna charge and try to break through and get into my archers if he does it's gonna be a Ooh. massive issue <laughs> gonna get one more volley and he's gonna die gonna bring him down before he gets into combat and your trolls are gone which means it is only your goblins left we are still at 50 50 91 percent of my guys are dead 95 percent of your army is dead absolutely brutal yep and there i can see i <laughs> hear your uh, the elf horn going off here so you're doing everything to keep this fight up i was hoping with two heavy infantry here to break through your guys but you're gonna actually counter charge throw everything into this just to hold me back my goblins are actually exhausted at this point whereas your guys are just getting warmed up apparently they're used to um firing arrows all day that has not tired them out <laughs> elf power baby <laughs> and i have a, i have a couple archers in the back continuing to do some fire but as we've seen you know that's just they don't have a snowball's 
or what is it, a snowflake's chance in hell <laughs> of doing anything. And now my guys, without the heavy hitting support of those trolls, are going to start melting away to the archers. The upper hand in this battle. Who are quite good in melee, and this is going to be a problem for the goblins. Balance more starting to shift in my favor, and we can taste the blood, we can taste victory, we're so close here. Pushing the goblins away, and we know that they're low morale, so once they get to really low unit size, they're probably going to route. We're going to try to reinforce some snagas and some goblin archers, but not sure if that's going to be enough. My, oh, and I kill your gen, yep. and that's probably <laughs> going to spell the end of this. I think that's going to cause a mess right here. Yep, I can see my guys exhausted, starting to break, and there you go. So the archers, the heavy orc bodyguard, and all that, everything's going down. And your archers now just unleashing up in the air. Oh, it looks like you even had some uh, smiths and other units pouring out of the keep. So you had a couple infantry holding back yeah, there. Yeah, like four or five infantry units. I think four in my Eldar Spearmen and four in my Smiths of Eregion. But that's not a very big deal, although in these endgame situations it actually could have won me the battle. But my archers, they, they pay for themselves many times over. They killed so many with their ranged attacks. And once you cross the bridge there, they stood firm held back the tide of orcs and goblins and trolls and pushed you out of the settlement and there's only a couple guys left so i'm gonna push across the bridge hunt down these last units but soon we're gonna route and my elves are going to finally take the field after what was a brutal full <laughs> siege defense of Rivera. i know i'm looking over and you can watch just every single inch you can trace the kill holy crap Carnage. it does not stop it goes from first bridge all the way to the last bridge <laughs> a trail of tears and blood and bodies Jeez. <laughs> so many dead people and you gotta feel you don't have to like elves but you kind of have to feel sorry for them when you live a life of three thousand or four thousand years and then you die in a hail of snaga archers or you die to getting smacked in the face by a troll sledgehammer like not a good way to go but it was in defense of their homeland, and that that is uh, a better way to go than some, I guess. Yeah, and man, I uh, that last that last charge just broke my heart when I had finally the trolls and two of them just charge across the gate, and it was very much a you shall not pass moment, and they just turned to pin cushions basically with those arrows and fell down, almost yeah, like in the movie. Seeing them die to those volleys <laughs> was so glorious, yeah. They have a cave troll. Not anymore, boys. Oh, Just man. shoot them in the face and they go down and, yeah, and that, push across the river. The percentage kills, 99% killed to 94% killed. <laughs> Just so brutal, dude. Crazy, yeah, grinding fight. Definition of Pyrrhic victory right there. Yeah. So, I'm wondering what I could have done more. I have... Not much more I could have done. I mean, I, I I think I did pretty well here. At, I'm at the final results screen. 855 kills, so pretty solid against the elves. Uh, but you can see I outnumbered you, you know, more than 2 to 1 <laughs> in that fight. Just throwing numbers against you. Uh, and it almost made it to the end. I'm going to pop the battle statistics just to see kind of what I had going. And at this point, guys, I had to kind of clip the audio from before. It got a little bit corrupted here at the end, so it's going to be me solo commentating. I just wanted to share with you a little bit of the results here at the end. You can see my cave trolls getting a lot of kills right there. They were my MVPs for that fight. You saw them kind of as the the big bosses almost between every single one of those big waves. So I could come and crash in with a lot of my cheap light goblins and have snaga archers and all that pouring in the fire. Very much absorbing enemy fire and then... Um, you know, just softening them up to the point where there I could finally break them with a solid punch. Um, so overall, I just rinsed and repeated that all the way up until the final bridge where, like you saw, I came down to the last couple of units. So definitely a very fun battle. I'm really enjoying this mod. The scenarios you could do, the music, the attention to detail, all of this really brings it to life and it makes it very, very uh, interesting uh, to play, fun to play, and I hope it's very fun to watch uh, and that you guys find this entertaining. I know some, I mean, this battle was basically a fight from start to end in a very linear fashion, but uh, nonetheless, I think, um, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. So anyways, if you have comments on what you like to see in terms of different scenarios which battles you recommend or uh, what different combination of armies you like to see fight each other I am all ears uh, I hope to do more of this type of stuff in the future uh, perhaps with any pride also with other people so yeah definitely left leave your recommendations below and uh, check out any prize channel he has a lot more of this stuff he does uh, the call of warhammer stuff too so I am gonna leave you all here hope you enjoyed for the last time uh, see you all next time peace out